My name is Roger Wiley. I'm uh, with Visify. I, I'm responsible for sales and marketing. Um, so I'm going to act as your host today for this webinar and, and uh, to share. You guys are one of the first to see this presentation uh, out in the marketplace. We, we presented this uh, with Callahan's uh, innovation series this year, and, and Jamie's going to share a little bit more. So I'm going to introduce Jamie in a minute, but I kind of wanted to get us kicked off with a little bit of just announcements and then uh, and then uh, take you a little bit through the background of Visify. For those of you, I know some of you are, are, are less familiar with us as a company, so we wanted to share a little bit of time. But just a, a little bit of housekeeping. Um, we've scheduled about an hour for this. We don't expect it to be that long, but we wanted to create some opportunity to, to answer questions. So uh, feel free to do so. If, uh, if questions come up during the presentation, just um, hit the chat button. Uh, at the bottom and uh, submit your questions and we'll kind of go through those uh, randomly when we're finished. Um, did want to just um, welcome everybody. Thank you for your time. We know it's valuable and uh, we're excited to share this with you and our new innovation. So um, let's see, let's move on. We'll kind of open it up. For those not familiar with Visify, um, we've been around for about 40 years and uh, we're owned by a, a company called Lilo Group in uh, Trento, Italy. And so we have international boundaries and we spared you the full uh, company history and background. But generally speaking, we do business worldwide. Um, in 2016, um, Data Group, the parent company for the, dig for the digital side of, and the, the technology side of our business, uh, acquired EPL out of Birmingham, Alabama, and then later, a couple of years later, acquired Intech out of Omaha, Nebraska, both pioneers in the QSO market. Uh, just to, to introduce their technology and kind of bring some innovative ways of doing business uh, to the market. And so uh, we're excited to kind of show some results of that. It's been a little bit of a process to build our products and and strengthen, you know, our company, set it up for uh, the organizational structure and things like that. So this is this is one of our most exciting products. We have many, and I'll share a little bit about that. But I did want to mention that, you know, we believe in credit unions, and we believe that, um, you know, that, uh, that credit unions are, are to some extent underserved from a technology standpoint. And it's critical that um, to compete and, and really to survive and thrive for credit unions going forward, um, the adoption and implementation of technology is going to be critical to that success. And I don't think I'm saying anything that anybody wouldn't agree with. Um, so therefore, as we kind of go through and you can kind of keep going there, Jamie, I kind of wanted to mention to you, we do business nationwide um, and, uh, and have co existing customers on a variety of products. Uh, but we, we, are, um, we are committed strictly to the credit union industry and to providing technology solutions that really expand based on what's, what's kind of happened in the market. And again, Someday we can share more of the vision uh, with you guys uh, to kind of put our thoughts and our logic behind our strategy going forward. But uh, generally speaking, we have we have over 60 uh, proprietary products. So it's not like we're, we're um, on the surface of the credit union or the fintech market, um, consumer finance. We, we have products that really uh, are deep into the, the operational processes and the member facing solutions um, for credit unions and, and, and supporting their operations. So we have everything from a core solution to, you know, to uh, compliance. So everything within this package. The last slide that I really want to kind of focus on is just to talk a little bit about our, how we're structured. So this, is, this fits into our wheelhouse, what Jamie's going to share with you today. And that is that we really have three approaches to, to advancing the technology for the credit union world. And we do feel that Visify is uniquely positioned. We have deep pockets as a, as a big uh, parent company that's, that's over three and a half billion dollars in, in revenue, but we also have uh, kind of a small, uh, small company mentality in the sense that we do care. And we have ownership that doesn't need to glean the profits out uh, to survive, but, and, nor do we have to meet Wall Street Journal or Wall Street's uh, stock price for the month or the quarter. So, in reality, we're reinvesting every, every bit of profit back into the organization um, to support our product line. There's really three pillars. The first one is our full service core to compliance mentality. And that is the, the efforts to build, and we've been doing this for years, a streamlined um, core application uh, that, that goes from the beginning to the end of the credit union so that there's a, a real-time environment with consistency across all applications. 
um, and, uh, and making sure that there's a fluidity to the process and potentially cost savings uh, related to bundling of products from a single source, that type of thing. Second piece is our modular applications. This is pretty new to Visify this, this well, in about a year. Uh, we have began to offer our products and solutions to uh, not only um, to our existing core providers so that they can mix and match and build their, their core platform, you know, according to their budget and needs, but also take it out to third-party cores. So this is the first time that we've opened up our products um, to third-party cores. We've been investing a lot of money and a lot of time and effort into it. So we're excited to, to be able to take that to market and add more users and more collaborators in the development of our products. And then really this is the setup for Jamie and that's today we're talking about our virtual environment. Um, we are really focused and investing a lot of money into uh, the virtual or transition to, to, to digital platforms. Uh, we just believe that with the consumer market being more uh, made up more of generation X and Y uh, population today that the evolution to that self-serve environment to the, to the younger audience is going to be critical to the sustainability of the credit union industry as a whole, let alone the individual credit unions. Um, you're just going to have to offer the convenience of being able to bank um, from their from their kitchen table. But but we're looking at it at two ways. We're looking at it both from a member perspective, but also uh, the pandemic. I'm stealing some of Jamie's thunder, but the pandemic helped us realize that we need to be able to run credit unions from the kitchen table as well. And so everything that we do has a, has a double sided approach to the development, and that's uh, the ability to, to run a credit union virtually, uh, but also provide everything that a, uh, a member would want to do uh, through a remote platform uh, that they would do in a traditional brick and mortar branch. So anyway, that's a quick little rundown. Like I said, if, if anybody's interested in more information, we can go into a deep dive, but I don't want to steal the thunder from Jamie. So go ahead, Jamie. Ah, thank you, Roger. Well, as Roger said, uh, we are leading in the digital realm. Uh, we invested over $3 million in our online and mobile banking application. And I'm happy and honored to say that we were the Callahan's 2021 uh, Innovation Award in the mobile category in their innovation series. And the reason we won that award was two basic things. One is the omni-channel strategy kind of like Roger talked about before, is that we were first a core system. So we know data. We're very good at data. And whenever you're building an online and mobile banking application, you've got to connect data. So I want you to imagine this big field of train tracks. And you're going to need a train track to do loans. So you've got to connect your loan vendor to your digital banking. You need a train track for debit cards. You need to connect your debit card processor to your digital banking. You need a train track for transfers, for real-time payments, for bill pay. You've got to have all these train tracks. And what our strength is at Visify is that we've got all those train tracks already in place. We have this omni-channel solution, this seamless experience, and that was really the power behind our application. But also we innovate with purpose. And I hope you see this today. Just like Callahan has the innovation series, we also have the innovation series. So we meet every quarter with our credit unions and we get together and we look at what features do we not have that you're seeing in the marketplace that you want to add or what features are your members asking about or especially during the pandemic, what features can you only do in the branch that we need to add to the digital banking application? And so we would actually have these large focus groups and it was a lot of fun. We would do it on Zoom, right? So we see everybody's face, a lot of input and we would do these large focus groups and we would get this feedback, but then we did something different. And I think this is really a differentiator with us is we brought in other entities and some of them not banking entities. For example, we worked with a company at Duke University called Common Sense Lab. And Common Sense Lab focuses on behavioral science techniques. And it was really cool because they helped us look at how people respond to color, what types of colors to use, what types of words to use, what type of workflow. Uh, it helped us look at the subconscious, how you felt, different emotions and and it was a really cool layer to put on, especially when we paired that with our customers and their members. So it helped all of us think in a different way. So I hope you see that today when we kind of go through the sneak peek. 
Now, just like Roger talked about before, digital isn't going anywhere, right? So with the pandemic that just recently happened, it forced everybody to begin using an online and mobile banking application. So even your baby boomers, even your older generations are using Venmo and Cash App to send money to their grandkids, and they like it. We're seeing that it's not decreasing, but it's actually increasing. But we're also seeing this. We're also seeing that a lot of our credit union members are jumping ship to banks. And you're probably asking, Jamie, why are they going to banks? Well, the reason is but what we feel based off the research is because these members are relying more on their digital banking application. They want to do more in their online and mobile banking application. They want the chat bots. They want the pre-authorizations. They want to know what products and services do I need to invest in. And they want that seamless experience. Now, don't get me wrong. I've got some studies here uh, that uh, CU Payments did that members definitely still want to come into the branch. So I'm not saying that digital banking is your end all, right? But I am saying that your digital banking needs to be, you need to count it as one of your branches, right? You need to make it a digital storefront. So treat it as a brick and mortar, but as your digital storefront. But just know as well that members are still going to want to come into the branch to do if they have a problem that they want to resolve. And the statistics show if they want to have financial advice or if they want to do bigger purchases. So personal is still key, but we've got to shift our focus to the digital banking. So we did some homework of what are members wanting in digital banking, right? You guys have probably read all of this and this is nothing new to you, but 94% of FinTech users want this seamless integration. Let me explain to you what that means. Some credit unions have an online and mobile banking application, so they'll go in, but then if you want to manage your debit card, you've got to download a separate app. Can you imagine explaining to a member, yes, okay, download our app, and then if you want to manage your debit card or your credit card, you're going to need to download this app. Well, to the member, that doesn't make much sense, right? To the member, you're the credit union. I want all of my products in one application. I don't want to have to download all these different apps. The second thing to a seamless integration is the member wants what's called a seamless experience. They want it to be easy, right? Whenever they click on apply for a loan, they don't want to go to a different application that has different screens, different buttons, different workflows, and then they fill out the loan application. And when they get done, they're logged out and they can't get back to online and mobile. You see, to a member, they want everything in one system cohesive, they want it to look the same, act the same, and that's really what we focus on because like we talked about before, we've got the train tracks in place and we've got that seamless experience. So I hope you see that today. And you know what, let's jump in. What I wanna do is I just wanna do a quick 10 minute demo. Um, my goal today is just if you were standing at the top of a diving board and you were looking down just a bird's eye view, and hopefully after this, you'll want to reach out to Roger and schedule a more in-depth demo. But I just want to give you a little bit to kind of give you an idea of what we offer, that seamless experience, that omni-channel experience. And then I want to show you how we make it easy for you. And that's going to be exciting too. So I'm going to actually um, pull up the application here. And you should see a phone app. This is all customizable. Whenever you come to Visify and you use our digital banking, you're actually going to sit down with the UX UI designer. You're going to actually have a whole team. You're going to have a UX UI designer that helps you with the design. You're going to have a data manager that helps you pick out your train tracks. You're going to have a project manager. We're going to make it very simple. But I want you to know that you'll have a team. Um, so you'll get to customize your logo and all this good stuff. Of course, this is you'll have your logo. You get to brand it. Um, and it's got all your basic fundamentals. You can log in using old school username and password, but you can also turn on biometrics, right? You can do facial recognition. You can do thumbprint. So you don't have to have the traditional username and password, but you can still offer it. At the bottom is what's pretty cool too. You can add locations. So if I do want to go to the branch, let's say that I need some financial assistance, I can click on locations it's linked to Google Maps. If I'm in my smart car, it'll automatically through my car tell me how to get to the nearest branch. I can click on contact us and I can link that to your call center or I can link that to your own chat bot. We offer AI technology. So if you want to turn on the chat bot capability, you can make her a male or a female. Uh, you get to name her, but she's a little pop up that actually interacts with the member if that's something that you're interested in. And then of course you can link it to your website you can have customized marketing, all that good jazz. What I want to show you today is we've got the entire package for you beginning to end. We saw that 94% of members expect the seamless member experience. So I want to start at the beginning. Let's assume that I'm not a member yet. Let's assume that 
I'm on your website and I want to become a member, or let's assume that I'm on the app store and I download your app, I can enroll to become a member. So this process, I'm not going to go through it. We can do a, a whole deep dive demo on this later, but basically you can apply for membership. What I like about it is at the top, it's going to show percentage complete and time remaining. And this was really important with the uh, Behavioral Science Common Sense Lab. They said it's very important to let members know this isn't going to take a long time, right? And depending on how fast you are, uh, maybe you're Gen Z, they'll get it done in three minutes, right? But, you know, maybe you're uh, millennials, it may take a little longer. But at any rate, you customize all of this. You put in your eligibility. You scan your driver's license. You don't need to type in all your stuff. Take a picture of your license. We'll populate all the fields for you. And you can have a joint owner, open up your basic account. And here is the game changer. This is what's so cool about this. Before, we'll call it pre-pandemic, the old school way of funding an account was to send in a paper check. Well, the problem with the pandemic is we didn't have a lot of people at the credit unions that could take the paper check and it took longer to open up accounts. So it made us change our thinking. So now you can fund the account instantly. So you can do a mobile check deposit and take a picture of your check. You can transfer money from it. You can do kind of like a Venmo, a cash app. You can transfer money from different accounts, use an ACH transfer, or you can do a credit or debit card. If you've got a, a credit card from Wells Fargo and you want to move $25 into this account so you can start using it, you can do that. And what I love about our application is we have automatic approvals built in. We can do a whole demo on that later of how the automatic approvals work and um, how you manage all of that in a different demo. Uh, but basically, these are all your disclosures. You can integrate it to DocuSign. The member can sign it. Um, and if they're approved, if they're low risk and they're approved, when you click on access my account, here's the game changer. It's going to bypass this login. And now you've instantly got access to your account. They can begin opening up a loan, opening up a credit card in seconds, right? If you're a, if you're a millennial, maybe three minutes. What I like about it too is what's important to our Gen Xers is that personalization, that touch. And so it's gonna have a picture that they pulled from the driver's license, but of course, of course I can click on the icon and I can do a selfie if I wanna do a selfie or I can upload an image from my phone book uh, that's in my phone and that's linked to my account. It'll have the money that I just transferred over or my account balances. It's all very fluid, very intuitive, easy to use. I can click on the any type of account I want to look at, and it shows my amount, my balance. I, it has pending transactions and recent. And what I like about it too, is it has this transaction categorization, which means I can see what transaction I did, but it's got these little color-coded transaction pictures or icons, and it's actually organizing my transactions so that I know how much money I'm spending at restaurants or groceries or utilities or Uber or Starbucks, right? Whatever it may be. And it kind of breaks it down and that gets into another area of the system, but it's, it subconsciously helps you categorize where you're spending your money. I can do these quick links, pay, transfer, deposit, all that good jazz. Now, of course, also on the home screen, you can choose to add this stuff or not. If you're like, Jamie, we don't want to show credit score. No problem. We won't show it. You get to choose which widgets you want on your screen, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you wanted to show your credit score, you could. Uh, the date it was pulled, and then you can have these pre-approvals, right? So I can pull your credit and already pre-approve you for a credit card, and this is an offer for you. And you can click on it, open the credit card, and start using it. That's the name of the game is we want everything to be easy to use. I can view more and drill down more into these marketing pre-approvals if you want to. And then at the bottom of the screen, we have these kind of quick links, right? These are things that a lot of members are going to do. What's the one thing members are going to do probably that's important to them is manage their cards. They want to manage their debit cards, their credit cards, any type of card in one system. They don't want a separate app. They don't want to go to a different screen or a different system. They want everything here. Well, we've got those train tracks in place with the card processors. So you can activate a card. This will be your actual card. So it's not going to look like this. It'll be your actual debit card, your actual credit card with your bugs, your picture, your customizations on there. Um, and it won't have the full pan either. Um, you can tell cards is one of my areas. So I, I get lost in the details of cards. But you can choose if you want to turn on the ability to lock your card. Uh, maybe you want to freeze it or unfreeze it, report it lost or stolen, set up different card alerts, spending limits, card rewards, virtual cards, link it to Apple Pay, Google Pay, whatever you want to do with cards, all of that is there. 
the other big thing you're probably going to do is you're probably going to want to move some money. We've got all of that. You can you can move money any way you want to. We like to call it Burger King, have it your way, right? So you can do what's called a fast transfer. I can move money from my checking to my savings. What's cool about it is I can do it in emojis. So I don't have to say move money for whatever. I can just do a, an emoji for a car or a cruise ship or vacation. And what's cool about that, and this is what our younger generation likes, is whenever they go to um, the... Uh, transaction detail it has the emojis instead of the words and so that's kind of cool but you don't have to use emojis if you're against emojis no worries there um you can do recurring transfers this is setting up your recurring um you can do person-to-person -person payments we have integrations with zelle so if you want to do money movement you can have your own venmo app at your credit union so again it's that all-inclusive you can do ach transfers we're working on wires right now so different types of transfers of course, bill pay is your other big boy, right? So bill pay, you can click on and do bill pay as well. Other functionalities, I'm going to end it here. There's a lot that this application can do. Like I said, we're good at train tracks, right? And it's that cohesive member experience. But most likely a member is going to want to apply for a loan or open another account, check out their statements. All of this is in the application. If you wanted to apply for a loan, it's all here. You can see that it's got that same percentage complete and time remaining. But this is something we learned from the Common Sense Lab that I want to hopefully you take away is that they taught us that members don't know banking terms. They don't know what a shared secured loan is. They have no idea what, a uh, what is it, certificate secured loan is. So what we have here is we have the description of the loan, but we also have what it is, like solar loan. This is a personal loan for purchases on solar panels and hot water. And it says, here's a tip. This loan will help you make environmentally friendly purchases and save you money. You can borrow between zero to $10,000 from one to 10 years. When they click on it, they can apply for that solar loan. And I'll go ahead and do that really quick. It's gonna pull in your license. You don't need to type anything in. We know who you are, right? You are a member of ours. So no need to type all that stuff in. If you've got direct deposit already set up, we're gonna pull in all your direct deposit. You can take a picture of your W-2 or forms. And again, that same process, very quick, and we can do that auto funding. So with that, I want to go back. I know that was very quick overview, but today's purpose is not a demo, but just kind of a sneak peek. But I want to kind of show you what we did that's a little bit different, is that a lot of times we met with our customers and they said, Jamie, this digital banking application, there's a lot of pieces to it. And I don't really know what we need or it just I feel overwhelmed with the process. And so a lot of people during the pandemic were at home, right? And a lot of people, according to statistics, did a lot of home improvement over the pandemic. I know me and my husband did. We, we learned how to do shiplap. Um, we probably got a little carried away with the shiplap. But at any rate, uh, we were spending a lot of times at, at Lowe's and Home Depot and ordering things online. And what made it simple for us is everything you could do online. I could go in and I could design my own kitchen, for example. I could pick out my own granite, my own countertops, my light fixtures, and I could play with it and have this virtual blueprint. And then me and my husband knew these are the things we needed to buy. And this is how we did our kitchen, or this is how we did our shiplap or whatever it may be. So we thought, why not create an app where credit unions can design their own digital branch. And that's exactly what we did. And it's fun to do. I'm gonna actually show it to you today. And if you're interested, after we do a demo, I can share this link with you and you guys can start building your virtual branch. Uh, I'm gonna show you a demo of it so that you kind of see what it looks like. And let me get to the beginning here. So essentially we'll send you a link, okay? And it says, okay, you can, this is your digital branch design studio. Uh, you can, if you've already gotten started, you can put in your username or password, but if you haven't ever started, you're going to start with activate your studio. So when I click on activate your studio, we're going to give you what's called a digital branch key code. It's this unique key that unlocks your, your design studio. So I'm going to pretend I already have the key. I'll choose my username and password, and then I'll hit next. And then you start building. And this is what I love about it is um, I'm going to, and I'll, Click on this so I can actually show you. I can type in my credit union's name, like I can do um, 123 Credit Union. I can choose to upload my logo. When I make these changes, I want you to pay attention to the, uh, to the phone on the right. You're actually starting to build it. So I can click on and choose my logo that I want to upload. 
I can choose my colors. Now, I know credit unions, you guys know your branding colors, right? You know what your hex codes are. Some of you, your marketing department will. But if not, I can just kind of play with the colors. If I don't know my hex code, I can play with the colors of what I want that background to be. And then, of course, I can do that with the secondary as well. That's what all my icons are going to be. So you kind of play around with that and hit next. I'm going to hit continue here. And then I can customize the branding of it. I can... I want you to pay attention to the right. I can change out my widgets and my styles and my colors if I want to change my primary and my hex. And that's just fun, right? Because you're starting to see it come to life. You've got your logo, your colors, and now you're starting to design it. After I, whoops, after I go to that screen, I'm going to go to my card screen and I'm kind of playing around. I should, I should have just registered a new one for you guys. We'll do that next time. But I can choose my card processor so I can design my card widget screen. It's important that you choose your card processor because some card processors offer different functionalities, right? Remember the train track. So let's say that I'm with Shazam. I can choose Shazam and then I can select what functionality I want to turn on. And then I can customize my icons. I can, let's say this lock card I turn on, I can hit the edit pencil. I can label it. Maybe I want to call it freeze card or unfreeze. I can choose what icon I want to put on there. And you're starting to kind of build out your application. I can do the same thing with transfers. What type of transfers do I want to turn on? What do I want to call it? What do I want my icons to be? You know, again, you don't have to get into this granularity. Um, you can just use the default, but you could if you wanted to, right? After that, you're going to get into your plugins. This is all the things you can add, right? So I'm going to get into bill pay. What is my, who's my bill pay provider? So I select my provider. I put in what I want to call it. I could call it pay my bills. I can add an additional description. Uh, I could say, use this to pay your bills on a regular basis, whatever you want it to be. I can choose my icon again, and this will kind of help you and your staff know too all the things you can turn on. What chatbot do I want? What do I want to name her? What language do I want her to be? English, Spanish, Italian, right? Um, but you got all these pieces you can turn on, and again, you're just watching your system get built and come to life, and it's fun. It's easy to do. After that, you get into the security pieces. Now, let me tell you this, we're not going to let you turn off industry standards, right? <laughs> we're not going to make you have an unsecure system. So, so the things that you cannot turn off, like multi-factor authentication, you can't turn that off, right? That's something that the U.S. industry recommends for a digital banking application. Um, so those won't let you turn those off, right? Which is a good thing. And we're also not going to let you build an ugly digital banking application. Um, we're going to make sure you got the basics in there. So again, you can turn things on or off that you want, what you want your members to be able to do, et cetera. Once you get through all of this, you've got your blueprint, right? Your kitchen's ready, your digital banking, digital storefronts ready. Uh, it's all packaged together. I can go in here and edit it and change my colors or I can edit the application, but I kind of have this blueprint that you can send to us and we can give you um, an estimate of the cost as well as the timeline. It'll typically take anywhere from 60 to 120 days uh, to take you live with your custom application. Um, like I said, we've already got the train tracks in place. It just depends on which train tracks you choose. Uh, but also we offer a custom UX UI designer. So if you want to do more, meaning you want to change some of the widgets around or you want to add new widgets that you didn't see here, we, you have that ability as well. So don't worry about that. What I also like is when you get done building it, you can click on this menu and there's something called Message Center. You can actually send this to your colleagues and let them uh, review your app that you just built. And you can um, allow them to add comments. Like your loan officer can say, I'd like you to add this or whatever it may be. And then whenever you send it to us, we'll have all those comments as well so that we know how to build your virtual branch or application. So I think it's a fun way basically for everything to come to life. And I'm really going to kind of end us at that, guys. Our digital banking application is very powerful. We've got the omni-channel built in, the seamless member experience, and we've got the train tracks in place. We make it easy and quick and convenient for you to create your digital banking application. We do have a very aggressive roadmap. Like I said, we've already invested $3 million in this application over the last two years. We are working right now on doing more with real-time payments. Uh, virtual cards, we're working with Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Google Pay to do that virtual wallet. 
Uh, we're looking at adding the wires console, the instant funding we talked about, and more with the AI. So we're really getting into AI and your customized chat bot. Uh, one of our credit unions is calling her Mia, which is member identification um, assistant. And so Mia is getting smarter and smarter. We're really doing a lot with Mia and you'll have your own as well. So go ahead and start thinking about what you want to call her or him. Uh, and that could be fun. So I want to thank you for your time. I know that was really just a high level overview, um, but we wanted to just give you enough so that you see what makes our digital banking application a, a product that you would want um, and that you'd be excited to be a part of. And I'm going to kick it back over to Roger. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, I didn't see any questions in there, but I, I so I'm going to give you a little bit of commentary. It's um, as we work with our customers, you know, it's really critical. Uh, one of the advantages that credit unions always had over, over the traditional banks was that personal touch. And, uh, you know, that, that personal experience that was offered through that, you know, the in-branch uh, relationship. Um, the critical part to us is how do, we, how do we go move into a digital world with, uh, with virtual engagement uh, but yet keep that personal touch. And so our, our slogan really is go digital, stay personal. And that's what this application is all about. It's, it's about creating uh, a personalized experience. So yours doesn't look like the one that they could get across the street from that traditional bank. Um, so we really do feel like, um, you know, th this is a chip, you know, a, a tip of the iceberg kind of thing, because we know this is going to continue to evolve. So the way Jamie's team's developed this and our investment uh, into the model is we, you know, we build it scalable so that it's not just relevant today, but for, for going forward. So um, I just wanted to maybe open up if there's any other questions or comments and, um, you know, feel free to chat, uh, put those in the Q&A or the chat uh, response. But uh, yeah, if you need to, you know, follow up on us, you know, on, on what you saw here today and you want to have a conversation we're not a high pressure sales organization. Um, we're excited to help credit unions and we're committed to the industry uh, and ultimately the success of all of our customers and, um, and willing to invest in it, whatever that takes. And so if you need anything, you can, you can reach out to Jamie or uh, you can actually go to our website, visify.com uh, and get more information on the company and also uh, submit a contact us form and we'll follow up with you. But uh, Want to thank everybody for joining and, um, you know, good luck with everything that you're doing and uh, in, in helping to, to, to retain this market for the credit union industry. Thank you. We'll see you.